to the users in the cross extended. So this is our this is from our MS public training. Download the user from device to the software cross cross extended, and upload the user information to the other device. So that's what our main topic is for today. So let's give some brief for the Envis. So what's Envis? So Envis has 15 years experience, 200, more than 200 patents, and it serves more than 100 countries. So our core algorithm, which is a bio nano, we do have 200,000 projects. And also right now, we just released our cloud solution now. We do have RVI and also the ACP protocol. So here's our MS product line. So we do have the access control and time attendance solutions and the intelligent surveillance product and the solutions. So here's our MS 2021 product solutions. So you can see all those devices, low R service we are using and we're sending right now. So let's go to the today's main topic for today. So the first is gonna be about download user to the cross extended. The second will be about upload, upload the user to the MS device. Regarding to the download users, there are three different methods. The first, you can use the network. The second, you can use the USB desk, or you can just create new users. So let's get in the topic. The first, for your device, you need to run software cross extended. And then you need to go to the device menu and add device. So you can check in the previous training course, which is I will show you as last page. So where you can find the previous training course. You can either go through the lane, lane client or USB to connect your device with the cross extended. So once you connect your device, just make sure you synchronize time, make sure, make sure your device is online. So once you connect your device, you can either go select the backup user as going to backup all the users, uh, which is from your device to your cross extended. So you just select the user, uh, select the backup users, that's it. And all the user will be available in your cross extended there. Or if you want to download specific users or download specific templates, you can go select download the users and also download templates. So it's a way to download user basic information and the biometric information separately. But remember, if you want to download specific templates, you have to select the user first. For example, this Anna, select this Anna and also download the templates. Once done, you will see the green icon showing all your templates over there. or you can download users through your USB drive. So make sure your USB format is FAT32 format. It's gonna be about eight gigabytes for the size. So you need to insert your USB to your MS device and go to the menu data and go to the, man, go to the menu first. You will find data menu and exports, click the export. And then you will find the user, you can export the user. And then you can save all the user information there. So once uh, you export the, the user from your device, 
you can insert USB desk to your PC or laptop to recover the user from it. You can see on the right corners, you can see the U operations. You can restore the user from the USB. Just select this and it will automatically detect your USB. You don't have to do further operation for this one. Or you can create a new user in your cross extended. Now you need to add user, right? Add a new user, but make sure this user is not accessing your device. And then you can modify the user information and then make it different verification, verification mode. It depends on what, 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 what you are preferring to do it. You can go with the face or fingerprint. It's all up to the customer. If you're using fingerprint device, you need to go with the fingerprint registration. You need to select the network. And now you need to select an arrow. And then I will remotely control your device and ask you to press your finger on it to scan your finger. So let's go to the second topic, which is going to be about upload user to the Avis device. So you can upload the user directly through the connected device. You just select one or multiple user and click on the set privilege and choose the corresponding connected device to upload the user information. So for example, you select this user and go select the set privilege now you need to select the device. Finally, you need to select, click OK. So it's all done for the upload, the user upload. So just one, make one note here. You can just ignore the upload user and upload the templates. We void the function for the upload user and upload templates. You just, you, you just need to do the set privilege to upload everything together. So as I say it here, I made the note already, the, use, the users may not have verification permission in the device if you only collect upload user or upload templates. So therefore, I highly recommend you to use the set privilege instead, instead of the upload user, upload templates. Or there's other way you think it's click like one user or the multiple user as too complicated for the users for that means you can upload all user at one time, which is you can resume the user. It's gonna upload all the user to your device, which is your online selected device. Or you can transfer user information by the U desk. So the first, you need to back up all the user in your USB desk, which is go to U operations, select the third one, which is back up the user to the USB drive. And then you can see on the device page, which is insert USB in another, another device. You can see the page like this, data input. So I will see the path, which is from the USB flash drive. Then you can just select the import to, exp uh, to import the user information there. Afterward, I will give you the information, which is a message import successful. So I will do a quick demo at now.
So here's my face DeFi. I'm going to power it up. And I will choose three ways to upload or download the user there as well. So I'm just powering up the device right now. So just give me a minute. I'm going to share my other screens for the software. First, so I believe everyone can see my screens, right? So I select the device. and synchronize the time. So you can see synchronization is successful. So that means the device is already online. And now you can download the user. For example, I can just go select download user. And so there's a user is from the device, which is this one. So I made an enrollment before the before the, the training course. Just select a specific user. Now you can download templates. So here is the user I enrolled before. You can see the green icon as a as, as existing on your device. So that means the templates has been downloaded on your software already. And now if you want to upload the user and templates together, you need to select the users. And now you can set privilege to the specific device, which is this one. So you can see the message pop up, the upload user and templates complete. Or you can go with the other way to back up the users. So it's gonna also back up the user to your software. Resume the user as upload user to your device. I will also shoot this function here. So here's the user I just resume it. So from the device menu, you can see the U operation on your right. You can use the USB to back up the user or restore the user. So right now, if you have any concern or the question, just let me know. At the last, I will show everyone our travel ticket terminals, which everyone wish if has the, the problems or the concern about our device. So feel free to go to our website and then send us the trouble message. So here's a page for our Avis global website. You need to go to the support menu. You can check there's some FAQ here. It may help you to solve your concerns. So I will go through this page very quickly. So sometimes it may some network issues though. So it's pretty common.
So just give me a minute. So right now our website may have some like technical issues. So that's the reason I may not able to um, access in the website. But anyway, I will need leave our website in the chat box. So once everyone has a time, feel free to visit our FAQ. And if you have any concern about our device, you have some problems with, with our device, feel free to send trouble message, trouble ticket to us. We are going to reply you as soon as possible. So here's the website. I leave it in the chat box already. So right now, if anyone has a problem, just let me know. I will help everyone to resolve the concern. Okay, so uh, seems at the moment there is no any concern or the problems. Uh, thank you everyone for the training for today. And I appreciate your time to attend the training. Um, if you want to visit previous training, you can also go to our website. So we do record all the trainings and upload online. So you can feel free to review all trainings. Thank you so much for everyone's time. Thank you so much. I appreciate every time, time every, everyone's time. So I'm going to end the training course very soon. Thanks so much, everyone, again.